Brody was a young 19 year old. She was a beautiful young girl. She was full of life, full of compassion for others. She got herself a part-time job and was moving out of home to live in her own little unit and start a whole new adventure. She was so excited at the time that sadly the workplace for Brody turned out to be a very toxic environment. There was a bullying culture in place. You know, there was no structures or anything like that to protect Brody or anyone else in that fact. And um, so for months and months she endured relentless bullying and humiliation and tragically she ended her life. Uh, Brody's law is a law that helps protect vulnerable people. It helps protect victims of bullying, particularly uh, victims of serious bullying. It enables police to take out intervention orders uh, against bullies to stop the bullying behaviour to help protect the victims. It also allows us to conduct criminal investigations and potentially lay charges against uh, the perpetrators of bullying. It's not something that you should sort of pretend isn't happening. And, and, and if you're a victim of it, that you, you shouldn't feel ashamed of the fact that it's happening to you. It's something that you actually need to address. Because if you don't, you can turn in on yourself and actually cause yourself harm, you know. And it, it can affect your ability to work and study and relate to other people. And it's just ongoing, you know. Bullying can have a big impact on someone's health. Um, not only physically but also psychologically. So the worry and stress and anxiety experienced by the target who's being bullied, if that's ongoing in the workplace, that can have a major effect on that person's health. Some targets of bullying are reluctant to speak up about bullying. They fear that the bullying will get worse or that they'll be labelled as a troublemaker. Brody's Law enables those people to go to their local police station and report the bullying there. No one has the right to uh, continually bully people. In fact, even bully people full stop. Um, unfortunately, someone had to lose their life for this law to be, to be brought upon us. And I'm six foot four and 120 odd kilos. Um, uh, it doesn't matter how big you are, you know, it, it, it affects a lot of people and it happened to me. Well, the message I'd like to give to someone if you're out there and being bullied is please, please don't sit back and think you're on your own. Please don't think you have to endure all this sort of pain by yourself. Make sure you, you tell someone about it. There are people there that want to help. Victorian police, your teachers, your employers. Please don't let it get to an escalate to a stage where you just don't know what to do and you're feeling so bad that it ends up in tragic circumstances. If people feel they're being bullied, they should make some notes about what's happening. Uh, so when they decide to take action, we can get a full picture of what they've been subjected to. They should also talk to a trusted friend or colleague, tell their manager if it's in a work context, tell a teacher if it's at school, um, discuss with someone who they trust, and if they wish to, they can come and report the matter to police. They can certainly ring their local police station and seek advice. Alternatively, and perhaps the best method, is to actually go into the police station, uh, speak to a constable at the counter, uh, and make a report and see what the police can do in relation to their particular case. I think it's very good that we have a law um, now that uh, backs up the social norm of um, the fact that bullying isn't acceptable. And I think it's a really good thing subconsciously for people that find themselves in a bullying position because they know that not only can they go to their friends and their family, but they can actually go to the police and that they would take you seriously. So I would say to people that are finding themselves in a bullying situation that definitely talk to someone. You know, it's it's not um, it's not uncommon. Like we just have to talk about it and um, you know take it step by step. Bullying doesn't stop unless people stand up and prepared to do something about it. And yes, the laws can be changed and the laws can do this and the courts can do this, but. It really does come back to the individuals. Let's try and get it that it doesn't have to go to the courts. Let's do something better than that. Let's look, as Ray said, let's look after our fellow men and women. You know, this is what we're trying to do. We want to make a change, but we can't do it by ourselves. We need your help. Well,